Fancy so clearly wants to be in this video. So hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Ah, say welcome back. Thank you. As you guys know, I am seriously obsessed with goal setting. I freaking love it so much. And the start of a new year is my time to thrive. So 2021, I set some goals for myself, but I also set a word for myself. And that word is slow. I want to live more intentionally this year. I want to do things within my business that are more intentional. And I just want to take things slow. The past two years, I have been hustling my butt off to get my brand to the point that it's at. I've had some big life changes with moving, going through a separation and just it's been a lot so this year I really just wanted to slow down I wanted to enjoy life and I wanted to also enjoy the brand that I have built for myself I set the word slow for myself and along with that I ended up setting some goals that helped me to live by that word and one of the goals I set I want to work four to six hour days what I will say guys is I am a hyper productive person so when I set this goal for myself I knew realistically I could work four to six hour days because I already have all the productivity and tricks and things in my mind I know how to do it so it seemed like a good challenge but at the same time I already felt prepared to really conquer this goal now this past week I ended up timing myself every single day to show you guys how I am able to get all of my work done in that amount of time and I was truly shocked with how fast I can work. Two hours, 46 minutes worth of work today. There were days where I wasn't even close to the four hour work mark and I was done. I completed everything on my to-do list and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go live now. And honestly, this video, I want it to help you guys if you are starting a side hustle right now because I know I started my brand when I was working a full-time job and this was my side hustle. So if you're currently just worried about like, where do I spend my time? Where do I focus my energy? This is going to give you hopefully some ideas of where I spend my time when it comes to working as much as I do work. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, it is Sunday night and for some reason my mind is racing about all of the things that I need to do tomorrow. And I don't even have that many things to do tomorrow, but my mind is just running. Like I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. And I think it's just because I don't have my vlog scheduled for tomorrow. And typically I like to have my videos scheduled and ready to go before the day of. I'm just gonna make a quick to-do list for what I have to do tomorrow so then we can start out the day in a clear headspace, ready to freaking work. Okay, and now I can go to bed. <laughs> As a full-time YouTuber, I will say that not every work day looks the same for me, but about every work week looks the same. And the main difference is meetings, calls, and just things that get put on my calendar. Obviously that's going to change every week. And then also projects, product development, and things that I'm working on that are gonna come out in the future. Those things change. But otherwise the content, it stays the exact same. So things that I notice I put on my to-do list every week, let's talk about the main channel. I film a main channel video, edit a main channel video, schedule a main channel video, and and I do all of that work all on my own, so that does take a decent amount of my time, but that's only one video I launch a week. I do launch three videos a week, so two videos go live on my vlog channel as well, which means I need to film two vlogs, edit two vlogs, and schedule two vlogs. In terms of Instagram content, I talk on my Instagram stories every single day, and my management team has challenged me to post three times on Instagram. Guys, I'm so bad with Instagram posts, but whether it is a photo, a reel, an IGTV, whatever, I need to be posting three times a week. Then I've got emails, replying to DMs, replying to your guys' comments, QuickBooks, approving transactions, talking with my CPA, doing all that accounting, finance, budgeting, fun stuff. And then product development. So as you guys may or may not know, I am working on merch right now. So that is taking up a decent amount of my time. And with all of those tasks, I like to theme them and put them on specific days. And I've shared that before, but this is a way for me to remain really productive as well as make sure I have enough time to get everything I need to get done during the week. Good morning and happy Monday.
Mondays tend to be my favorite days just because honestly guys, I love what I do so much and Monday is just like the start of the work week, started off with a bang and I'm just freaking excited, ready to go. Monday is typically my vlogging and my big picture day. So I work on future products like merch. This specific week, I ended up having more merch work that fell on Friday and you're going to see that. So Monday was mainly a vlogging day as well as an editing day. So my to-do list today, I have to schedule the vlog that is going live later today. I need to prep for my filming day tomorrow. I need to schedule the video that's going to go live tomorrow on my main channel. I need to get pictures for my management because they asked for them over a week ago and I totally forgot. And then I need to respond to comments at three o'clock when the vlog goes live. And I also need to vlog. So what I am going to do very first thing, I need to schedule the vlog for later today. So I am going to wait, let's actually do it stopwatch wise. So I'm just going to start my stopwatch now and I'm going to time to see how much I work today and how long it takes takes me to get all of the stuff done. I just paused my timer. I've been working for an hour, 32 minutes up until this point. I just got both YouTube videos scheduled. So the vlog for today and my main channel video for tomorrow, I had to create thumbnails for both of them. So that's why it took me a pretty decent amount of time. But I will say that was the majority of my work today. So now I've got some simple tasks that I need to do. The first one is get pics to my management, which should not be hard at all. And then I need to prep for my filming day tomorrow, which is basically just to create an outline for the video. I am going to pause for a little, get myself water, maybe a matcha. Am I feeling a matcha? Maybe a matcha. And then we'll go back to work. Stopping it. I've only worked two hours, 56 minutes. It's not focusing. There we are. Two hours, 56 minutes today. Calling it quits. In reality, uh, this is like the worst angle. Why did I decide to do this? In reality, because I vlogged today, I took off a little bit of time in the middle of the day so that I could vlog. And I didn't time that just because vlogging is like a whole nother world. And if I timed every time I turned the camera on and then turned it off, it just like didn't make a lot of sense. So I did do other work in the middle of the day, which was vlogging, but computer work, sit down work, that's it. Less than three hours today and Fancy and I are gonna go for a walk. Which brings us to Tuesday. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, which means it is main channel work day. On Tuesday, I've got a main channel video that goes live at 10 o'clock my time. So I need to be there to respond to comments like I told you guys, as well as I film the next week's video on Tuesday. So I like to film my videos way ahead of time. It saves me the stress. So I know I've got time to edit or if I need to refilm or just get extra clips for the video, I have got that time built into my schedule and I'm good to go. But also on Tuesday, I will typically start editing that video. I am actually going to start the day a little bit earlier than I usually do just because it's going to be 70 degrees. 70 degrees in Alabama today and Fancy and I were going for a long hike and I am so freaking excited. So I'm going to start work right now. I've got my tripod right here. The lighting, there's no clouds in the sky guys. Ah! So it should be a good filming day and I'm hoping that I could get this video shot in an hour because then I've got my video going live and I have to respond to comments. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day. Love I'm creating a reel, guys. It's like, who am I? I finished filming that video. I took the thumbnail. I responded to comments. I'm gonna take this makeup off and Fancy and I are going for a hike. <laughs> We are back home and I'm going to restart my timer right now. So an hour 36 in and I'm going to try to create a reel. Guys, I've only created two reels before. One of them I did in Final Cut Pro. The other one I actually did on Instagram. So I'm going to try to create a reel and we're going to see how long this takes. I just posted the reel, stopped my timer, two hours, 17 minutes worth of work today 
been a really slow work day, but I think I'm going to shower, put on comfy clothes. It is Sushi Tuesday, so I think I may actually get a little editing done on the couch and get it close to like my four hour mark. That way tomorrow I'm not going crazy with all the editing that I have to do. Like I told you on Tuesdays, I typically mainly work on the main channel, but since I didn't have that much time or I didn't really want to spend too much time editing that night, I decided to actually work on the vlog that I filmed the day before because it really does not take me that long to edit my vlogs. Vlogmas, guys, made me so efficient when it comes to editing my vlogs. So I spent a little over an hour editing and I was completely done with my vlog that I filmed on Monday. And that ended up bringing us to a total work time of three and a half hours today. Good morning, you guys. We meet back here again. I am starting the work day a little bit later today just because it's gonna be a full on editing day and I was like, let's take the morning slow, watch some YouTube videos, catch up on a couple of things, puzzle, chill out, and then we'll get to work because I have a feeling I'm just gonna work two hours straight, eat lunch, work two hours straight, and that's it. So today I'm gonna be working on the main channel video for next week and to be honest, editing days are pretty boring. It's a lot of me sitting at my desk, staring at my computer, editing. And main channel videos definitely take me longer than my vlogs. Vlogs, I can get edited in like an hour and a half, two hours. Typically my main channel videos, I would say are more so four plus hours. I can take like eight plus hours on a main channel video. It just depends how detailed I want to go in with it. So every week on Wednesday, I reserve it as a sole editing day. That is the only thing I have to do because I've got three videos going live every single week. Guys, it's a decent amount of editing that I have to get done. I am Paul my work right now. I already did the initial cut through of the video. I've added a couple of features in music, my intros done, uh, minor color correction, my end screen, all of that. But I'm getting to the point where it's like, I need to go through old vlog footage to make this video interesting. And I just need to take a little bit of a break. So the only other thing I have on Wednesday is that I do Q and A's on my Instagram stories. So if you guys did not know, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because Every single Wednesday I do a Q&A. So typically when I need a break, I will just talk to you guys on Instagram stories. It's a different screen that I'm staring at, but that tends to be my break on Wednesdays. Okay, I gotta admit, this was by far one of my fastest editing sessions ever. I, like I've been working three hours, 35 minutes today. Sometimes it can take me eight hours to edit a video, but today I was just freaking on it. I think it also helped because while I was filming this video, I was on it so there weren't a lot of mistakes and scenes that I had to cut and all of that. It was just really smooth flowing. This video is already done. I feel like I'm ahead of the game on work this week, guys. I am so, oh, I'm feeling good. I just got my vlog scheduled for Friday. Cross that off. Hit stop, and today, four hours, 13 minutes. Nice work. We have to talk about Thursday. The only thing that goes on my to-do list on Thursday is to vlog. And honestly, it is the greatest thing because I allow myself to take a day off during the middle of the week. I just get to focus on vlogging, sharing more of my personal life, doing house projects, stuff like that. And it's a freaking blast. So since I was vlogging and I didn't want to stop and start a timer every single time I pulled out a camera, I just didn't track my work this day. And I counted it as zero hours worth of work, but in reality, vlogging is a work. It's just harder to track in terms of the time. So. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. Do I look tired? I feel so incredibly tired today and I thought about moving this work day to my bed, but instead I think I'm probably gonna work on my couch. I haven't even made my to-do list for today though, so that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Fridays are my editing and admin days. So if I have more editing that needs to get done, you know that didn't get done on Wednesday, that falls to Friday as well as since I filmed a vlog the day before, that needs to get edited and that falls to Friday. But also admin work, you guys. Technically admin work to me is like management and anything that goes into that, which actually, oh, I need to send them analytics and stuff. So I need to do that today. I need to approve QuickBooks transactions and get back to some emails and stuff like that, which throughout the week I do respond to emails, but it's like Friday is kinda anything that slipped through the cracks, we get it done. And yeah, so let's, let's just make a to-do list. <laughs> I 
have got a call. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> With my manager in one minute. This should be a relatively quick call, but of course I'm going to start my timer because we are working here. Today ended up just being an everywhere day. I feel like I did absolutely everything, but at the same time, I never even got around to editing that vlog for Monday. So I knew I was gonna have to work this weekend anyways, not a big deal. My timer's still going, gonna hit stop. Three hours, 49 minutes today, feeling good about that. Instead of doing the vlog, so I did everything on my to-do list minus edit the vlog, but I ended up getting the video for my main channel scheduled for Tuesday. So I feel really good about that. And I'm just gonna end up working this weekend. Yeah, I work every single weekend and I'm totally okay with that. I would rather wake up every day and treat it the exact same instead of really looking forward to the weekend. And that's just personal preference for me. And especially with working only less than four hours every single day, there's obviously some work that may slip through the cracks and need to get done on the weekends. On Saturday, I didn't time myself working because the only thing that I did was create a reel and that reel really didn't take me that much time. It was just filming little clips as I did certain things throughout the day. So it was a mini, it was like a mini vlog, but at the same time wasn't a vlog. So I just kind of did it as I was doing things around the house and I put it all together and created a reel. I will say that day I maybe spent an hour working, but I do try to take one day off on the weekends and that tends to be Saturday. Then on Sunday, like I told you guys, the vlog that I filmed on Thursday, I was supposed to edit on Friday. Didn't have time to edit on Friday, but it needs to go live on Monday. So I spent some time on Sunday getting that video edited and scheduled to go live for the next day. Just wrapped up two hours, 46 minutes worth of work today. And that is it. When it comes to my work week, obviously the majority of my time is spent creating content. I'm creating three YouTube videos a week and Instagram does change. So this specific week that you guys saw, I created two Instagram reels, shared one photo, and then I talked on my stories every day, but I hope you guys like this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you guys back here on Tuesday with another one. I don't know why my voice just went so high there. I think I've been talking too long. I need some water. See you guys back here soon. Are you gonna stay there? Do you wanna talk about how you get all of your work done in four hours a day? And you actually nap more than four hours a day. We have a dog in this. Really? I can't film with you like that. I feel like I just need to keep talking so that she knows that I'm not paying attention to her. Is it working? I'm not sure if it's working. Ah, it's working. Nice, got it. Nice work, Catherine, nice work. <laughs> She's just wagging her tail too.